Welcome back to Nudlingen and the second part of our series in this fantastic town where today it's all about the food. Now, because this town is so lived in, so authentically charming, what I really want to go do right now is check out their weekly farmer's market every Saturday, right in the morning, center of town. Let's go. And what I'm loving so much about this market is that I think it's really emblematic of what I love so much about Nudlingen itself, the local community. Unlike so many other places that you can go on vacation, the more well-known places, Rodenburg, Garmisch, etc., people really live here. And you can tell by just watching them do the groceries. And this really cool bronze well-covering statue, it commemorates that barely a generation ago, local farmers were still driving their livestock right onto these very streets for this market. But it's just so nice to see that the market is alive and well, and remembering its history. The produce here is also supposed to be of exceptional quality because the whole meteorite crater area has exceptionally high quality soil, meaning you get that high quality produce. However, the reason why you should come to this market, even if you're not planning on buying any carrots, is this is the best place to get the legendary Nudlingen Stabenwurst. Servus. Uh, so, can I bitte ein uh, Wurst in Semmel haben? 2,50 Euro, 2,50 Cool. Jawohl. Gut, danke Ihnen. Sehr gerne. Ach. Schönen Tag noch. I am so excited to finally try this. I have been dreaming of Nordlingen sausage for months, which might sound a little bit weird to you out there who are familiar with the channel, because Ben, this is clearly not your first Wurst Rodeo on this channel. I've had sausages all over Germany, but the ones in Nordlingen are special. You see, legally in Germany, if you're going to sell pork sausage, the butcher has to at least partially cook it before they can send it out. So when you get them at the Christmas markets at the beer fest, they've been partially cooked and then finally cooked in front of you. But not this one. Here, they actually have the raw pork sausage in the casing cooked right in front of you and Germans swear they can taste the difference. But this is the only place you can get it. That's why I need to try this. The Wurst itself, you can get either just one or two. I think traditionally you would get two, but this is a whole food video. I need to keep some room in my stomach, so I went with the small. And it looks beautiful. It's called the Stabenwurst, and the recipe dates back to the late 1600s. Traditionally, you would only sell these during the Christmas markets or beer fest seasons. However, because they've become so popular, you can also get them on the Wednesday morning and Saturday morning markets. But other than that, it's a particularly rare Wurst to find. Should we just dig in and try it now? That's enough talking. Oh, that's a good one. I don't know if I'm ready to compare it to Regensburg. I mean, that Wurst was legendary, but I do actually think I can taste a difference. The casing, the meat inside, it's all a little bit softer. It's a little bit more tender, and the flavor is just so incredible. I guess in that way, maybe it's just a little bit more juicy than what I'm used to. A lot of the Wurst that we usually get, the casing is a little bit tough. Not that there's anything wrong with that. This, you can barely even tell it's there. It's so soft and delicious. I did get it with a little bit of ketchup, but I would be careful not to put too much on. There's so much flavor in the sausage itself, you don't want to overpower it. It's so good. Like, this is one of those days I wish you weren't a vegetarian, because I would love to know your opinion on this. I think, honestly, now that I've had some, I kind of wish I'd gone with the double stack, two versed in one bun, and that would be so good. But, ultimately, I am glad I've only gone with one today. I think my stomach will appreciate the smaller portion, because there's a lot more food to eat in this video. But this, this is amazing. I uh, got back in line for another one. They're really good. <laughs> 
it is just as good the second time around. Best Wurst in Deutschland. And what near from home food video could possibly be completed without going and getting a little cafe hooken? So how about we get some coffee and cake? And we're in luck because right quite literally across from the front of the Daniel is Konditorei Altreuta, which supposedly has the best cake in town. This place is so busy, I can barely believe it. And because this is Nudlingen, it's all locals. I actually feel a little bit out of place being the city slicker from Munich up in here. It's only people who live here, which means it's gonna be good quality, right? Naturally, we went for the local specialties, of which there are two that really caught my eye. Firstly, is the Gerd Müller cake. He is a local superstar, a very famous footballer from Nudlingen, who they are very proud of, and he has his own cake. And it's all about pistachios, berries, cream, and marzipan. It looks incredible. And they also, because I just couldn't help myself, they have the Nordlingen Mandel, which is just a cute little chocolate confectionery, dark chocolate on the outside, soft nougat in the middle, and then a core of a roasted almond. Sounds perfect. Should we try the cake first then? Yeah. <laughs> I love everything about this, but I don't want to pre-bias you. I want you to try it before I review it. I don't know. I think I'm already pre-biased. This kind of seems like it was made in a lab for me to love it. It really does. Right? I realize now that I'm trying this, I've never actually had a German cake with this combination of flavors before. I've never had something with pistachio and marzipan and berry cream. It's nice. really good. You're right, it's like kind of a unique cake compared to what we usually get. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. And it tastes good to boot. So if you're a fan of pistachios, marzipan, and berry cream all together in a cake. Or footballers. That's you. You've got to come here and try the Gerd <laughs> Mula cake. Amazing. Okay, ready for the chocolates? Is it sad if I might actually be more excited for these? I mean, the cake is blowing my mind, but I love a bit of chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like, let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe you'll disagree with me. The cake is amazing. It's complex, it's unique, it's interesting, it's local, absolutely blowing my mind. I do, however, just love chocolate. <laughs> both are amazing, you need to get both. I won't say which is better. Try the white chocolate. Oh yeah, I've got one more. It's the perfect chocolate candy. What I love about these is just everything is so high quality, right? This could taste awful if the nougat was kind of crap, if the chocolate wasn't very good, if it didn't have that beautiful roasted almond in the middle, but it doesn't. Everything is so high quality that it just elevates this to an amazing place. I will be getting some of these for the road. They're lovely. So I would call this Cafe Kuchen accomplished. However, we only have 15 minutes until we need to leave, so let's put the camera down so I can finish my cake in peace. Now, before we move on to our next grand food adventure, I want to remind you about our previous video and the first part of this Nudlingen series where we skipped the food and showed you everything you need to do in this immaculate village. From exploring the intact medieval walls, climbing the lofty Daniel to meet its most adorable resident, and of course, showing you Nudlingen's Crater Museum and talking about why the Apollo 16 astronaut astronauts brought back a moon rock specifically for Nordlingen. It was a wild video. There was just so much to this town. But most importantly, what I want to say is, if you appreciate what we do here, traveling slowly and trying to show you more than just the obvious and common places you've already heard of, then please subscribe. Any support you can give means the world to us. And even more, maybe tell your friends and share the channel. 
because there is a reason most travel channels go to the same places over and over again. And it isn't because they're good or worth it, and it isn't for your benefit either. It's to grow a brand, because the algorithm likes common places, and people often like clicking on common topics. This is why Nordlingen is a stunning bucket list gem that I am absolutely in love with, yet I'm also one of the only people talking about it. If I'm being raw and honest with you, most channels care more about being travel YouTubers and you paying for their holidays than they actually do your vacation or the places they visit, and they're rewarded for it. So I just want to say thank you so much for choosing this video, for being adventurous, and for giving Near From Home a shot. And if you've got a trip of your own coming up and would like a more personal Near From Home touch, don't forget we also offer itinerary consultations on our website, where you can hop on a Zoom call with me and Camille, go through your itinerary day by day, and make sure you are having the best trip possible. Because Camille and I genuinely care about your travels, and I really hope you can tell. Now, I am absolutely famished and it's time for dinner. So we've made our way over to Kleibel's Restaurant Am Daniel because everyone has recommended it to us. From our hosts to the tourism board and some locals we chatted with in the cafe, they said for dinner, you have to go to Kleibel's. So here we go. I'm so excited. I have had a lot of Maltar shit on this channel. My word, this is some of the best. When entering Kleibel's, it becomes immediately apparent as to why everyone speaks so highly. The decor is tasteful and stylish, and the food is a massive cut above the standard Bavarian fare that I'm used to. Usually in these parts, all restaurants sort of gravitate into two categories, traditional beer halls and trendy upscale spots. One reasonably priced, the other not so much. Kleibel's, however, gives you both, and so just like the locals, I too fell in love. Freshly baked bread with tomato butter and a salt and pepper duck fat spread to start, adorable and delicious knudel for Camille, and that amazing maultaschen for me. Traditionally, maultaschen were used by monks to sneak a little meat during Lent and hide their sins. However, there was no hiding from that meat filling. It was incredible. We even decided to go so far as getting a little dessert. The meal was absolutely excellent. When we came to Nordlingen, little did I know how well we would be eating. It has been a genuine surprise. And don't be fooled, the restaurant may look empty, but every single table was reserved. We just got here a little early for dinner and to film our meal without bothering anybody. By the time we left, Kleibel's was deservedly buzzing. Now we don't usually do this, right? You guys are always asking me in the comments, oh, you've got this amazing day trip, got these amazing places, but where do I stay? And I usually don't have anything to tell you. A lot of the places we stay are pretty mid, or we're day tripping from our house in Munich. But here in Nordlingen, I actually have a genuinely great recommendation for you. You see, we are staying in a 1500s era house right up against the wall itself, the Alte Bastei, three minutes from the Hauptbahnhof, yet you'd never know it was from the 1500s based off of the renovation. I also just really kind of am a sucker for the juxtaposition of modern, clean, minimalist, beautiful renovation with a medieval building and charm. I mean, when you look out the window at the old, unbreachable walls, yet still get some of those modern creature comforts here, perfection. This place is beautiful. Let me show you around. What you'll notice first is the absolutely beautiful symmetry. The apartment we're staying in is right in the roof, and instead of trying to hide that from you, all of the wood is exposed, all of the framing. I mean, I don't need to tell you that this looks so good. It's obvious. It's also really space efficient. We've got a fantastic little couch and reading area over here, which we've actually used quite a bit for editing. We've got a little tiny kitchen, which I love. Personally, I like going to all the restaurants, but you could stay in Nordlingen for quite some time. You don't have to just day trip it. So having a kitchen always makes me feel a bit better. The bedroom is beautiful. 
Again, just underneath this A-frame, it's awesome. And the bathroom is also a work of art. I mean, it's just so pretty. The tiling is good, it's very spacious, it's very clean, which I can't say for everywhere I've ever stayed. I mean, it's space efficient, it's beautiful, and if you have more than just two people staying here, there's a little lofted treehouse up there. It's so, so cool. And there's a small attention to detail that I really want to point out because I'm not sure everyone notices it. The bathroom has got a much brighter, fresher blue light compared to the bedroom, which has got an incredibly warm and soft light. The people who have renovated this space have really cared about the lighting. And as a videographer, I appreciate that. However, the reason why I'm here and the reason why I'm recommending it to you is because of the people who have renovated this house itself. It's a German and American couple, Andreas and Kendall, who have turned this house into their passion project. There are actually three apartments here. They give us the one in the roof to stay in. It's amazing. However, all of them are equally well renovated and I could recommend them to anybody. You see, when we were planning our very trip to Nordlingen, they reached out letting us know that they love our channel, always a good start, but mostly they believe that we share the same values. And I think I agree. Kendall and Andreas love Nordlingen. They love being locals. They've lived here for years. They have an entire book full of recommendations and I can attest that they're very good. And as another fellow travel enthusiast, a local who likes spreading my insider knowledge, I can get behind all of that. They are absolutely fantastic. And the house that they've renovated is just as good. So you could stay anywhere in Nordlingen and ultimately I just want you to come here to Nordlingen. But if these apartments are available, then you're gonna be supporting good business, good people, and look at what you get in return. And I know what you're thinking, damn, that was some buttery smooth footage. And it was. Our friends over at June sent across their latest Weeble 3S gimbal for us to experiment with, and it's been a dream so far. Though it is light enough to carry around on shoots, shockingly so actually, I've always wanted to shoot interior shots that feel like you're gliding around. And low light indoor scenes always benefit from some extra stabilization. So filming this beautiful apartment felt like the perfect place to practice using a new piece of equipment. And I know some of you out there are videographers yourself, and from my usage, it is easy to recommend this gimbal. They've come a long way in the last few years, so if you haven't thought about one in a while like I hadn't, now is a perfect time. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. If you are interested in getting a piece of kit like this for yourself, then of course, I've got a link for you on screen right now and in the description box below. This way, you can get some shiny new gear while supporting the channel at the same time. So a big thank you to June and their awesome gimbal. I do hope you were paying attention earlier and that you watched our last video, especially on how we learned all about the well-preserved meteorite crater that Nordlingen sits in the center of. When we went by the Crater Museum, showing us all about how this geological marvel formed, how the Apollo astronauts trained here, and even brought back that amazing moon rock from Apollo 16. But most importantly for a food video, how the soil was made extra fertile, leading to, so they say, some of the best quality ingredients in all of Germany. Perhaps you see where this is going, because we've got one last massive treat to end this video on. Now, next up, we have a real change of pace for you and a real treat as well. Near from home, we usually like to do casual dining, the kind of restaurants that we could recommend to anyone. However, here in the crater, I think it might be time to splurge a little. There is a restaurant called Meyer's Keller. It is a Michelin star restaurant using all local ingredients from the crater. It sounds amazing. Their website looks fantastic and I need to go check it out. So let's go inside. Let's see if it's worth it. I'm a bit of a sucker for like a cold, chill white anyway. And this is lovely. Is delicious the correct word for wine? It's a really good balance of being very sweet, but not sickly so. And it's got a bit of a dry aftertaste, if that makes sense. Again, you know we're not wine people, but I like this. 
Uh, we have some pumpers above and some olive oil. And for you, we have some smoked eel with wasabi chip and also some olive oil and pumpernickel. Sounds amazing. Enjoy. I love eel, I don't get it very often, and this just looks completely elevated. It's not often that we eat like this, so I'm actually pretty excited. See how it tastes? It's really nice. It's hard to describe, it's got a complex flavor to it. There's a lot going on, and I am not a sommelier or food critic. It's incredibly tasty though. I wish I knew what else to tell you. Do you want to try it? Here, have some of mine, because you love eel. Honestly, I'm just curious what you're going to say. You're a little bit better at putting things into words, at least not food words. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> just tastes like really good fish and like a really good oily sauce. So you're struggling to put it into words as I much as I am. I also, but it's delicious. And there are a lot of complex flavors going on that I really appreciate. Should I try my carrot strips on camera? But I am curious, what could they have done with the carrots to mm -hmm. elevate it to the point that it's mm -hmm. worthy of my eel? That's so good. It's almost like they marinated the carrot strips. Something about the sweetness of the carrot and the oily sauce just fit together really nicely. Nice. Off to a good start? Yeah, definitely. And I know we're at a very, very fancy place, but honestly, I'm still just super excited to try the bread. Sometimes the bread at these fancy places is just like the best part of the meal. <laughs> Comment below if you agree. To go with it though, they actually give us two different kinds of butter. Again, I think vegetarian accommodation. There's a nut butter, which is actually more like a vegan accommodation, which is really nice of them. And then there's a butter that they said was made from pig. I'm not quite sure what that means. I've had what I think maybe this is at a medieval restaurant in Munich, where it's kind of like a, a lard butter. It's really good, but it's very rich. I'm curious to see if this tastes the same. That is dangerously delicious. I'm gonna try this nut butter too, both of which are incredibly soft. That is easily the nicest, creamiest nut butter I've ever had. That's actually a genuinely good butter replacement. That's really good. Ah, cheers. But I'll show you our cellar, because we're making a own be careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's so steep. And it smells like a cellar. It feels like we're back in the Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> but the nega Daniel. <laughs> Der Schwerpunkt ist in Deutschland und Österreich bei den Weinen. Wir haben über 300 verschiedene Etiketten. Hm. Meine da ist eine wow. sehr große Auswahl. Genau, und hier unten machen wir eben unseren eigenen Schinken. Hm. Produzieren wir. Oh. Der kommt vom schwäbisch-hellischen Schwein. Der hängt hier. Und der reift hier für 35 Monate. Und er hat ein ganz feines, besonderes Aroma, was er eben hier, weil das war früher eine alte Brauerei. Und da ist die perfekte Feuchtigkeit und genau die richtigen Bakterien, dass der hier eben reifen kann. Ich kann Ihnen dann auch noch was aufschneiden, das ist Spezialität vom Haus. Also da kommen die Leute auch weit her, nur um das zu probieren, das ist schon wahr. We're gonna get to go in the kitchen. Now we just need to try to stay out of the way. Also das machen wir heute für euch und noch eine Pilzcreme mit einem Pilzrisotto. Also Pilzrisotto, Parmesan schauen, Pilzcreme. Schalotten. I don't know about you, but this is probably the hungriest I've ever been in my whole life. Getting to watch them put everything together, talk us through it, visit the keller. I'm hungry, and I think I already know that I'm gonna love it. <laughs> but I need to try it. 
This is one of the best things I think I've eaten in a long time. You know, we've talked about it all day in this video and the other video about how the crater, the Ries itself, is so fertile. And to be at a restaurant that cares so much about local produce, to make use of the local mushrooms to create these amazing dishes, I feel like I'm tasting the crater and it tastes amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, give us a tip if you think we've earned it, and I will see you in the next video, wherever that might be.